Hello and welcome to How Not to Play, the channel in which I play video games badly. Today we are continuing our platinum playthrough of Final Fantasy 16, including all main quests, side quests, and trophies. So without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. yeah. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. I wanted to save her. For a while, I even thought I could. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. Sid. I'm no saviour. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Look, lad, you've had a hard life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> Try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk, but I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. Yeah, that looks like he's uh, starting to turn too. Sounds like he was saying his goodbyes. But before we leave, there are a couple quests behind us. So, I mean, no reason to go rushing off. Oh, there's even one on the way. Um, how about back in uh, the hideaway? Oh, we can see the little green icon there next to the obelisk, meaning there is some quests there. So if we bring up the nearby activities, there shouldn't be anything else over here. Nor are there back in the hideaway. All right. Well, let's turn around and make some people happy then, shall we? Or at least try to. I have to find him before the Imperials do. Can't talk now, I... Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. 
It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now, one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor Sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? Sure. Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false, acted like he was one of us, and the whole time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right. You don't send a bearer. Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. Or we could just let Ron go out and find him and get lost in the wilds. Into his own hands. There is a hardly difficult to spot. What did he mean about being played false? I wonder. Well, he might be up on top of the bridge. Let's go see. If he was running away, he probably would have taken the bridge, not jumped down. Is that him already? Just stopping here? You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. How do I get down? Can I just jump? No, you're not gonna let me just jump. Oh, come on, I can do it. Uh, you hold on a second, I'll be right back. Oh, that's right, we gotta go down more steps. Are the steps. No, that's up. I'm lost. How am I lost on a freaking gangplank? There we go. Here's the ladder. All right, let's go see if we can find him. We can't have gone far. I better keep my eyes peeled. Oh, what are we here? That is lamp. It's not gonna make it too far without that. A lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. Why would At least you I know which way he went. The only way he would have dropped us, he was running from something. 
Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. Yeah, that could be why he dropped his lantern. He was busy fighting off the wargs uh, there. Ooh. Hello. Ten hides. Oh! Hello, dude. Wow, I completely missed you there. Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bear to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in Paris. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And... Sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. <laughs> I've been called worse. Oh. I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But... If I'm honest... I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. A bear without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. Only to be betrayed by a friend. I think we'll just uh, port back here. I didn't see any uh, monsters on the way here, so there shouldn't really be much on the way back. Alright, we made it back to town. Where's, uh, there's our guy. He's still talking, huh? I'll go myself. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse, torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter, then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean, I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. I only wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really. He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. Some nice mats out of it. Alrighty. We had another uh, quest down here. So let's see what uh, this guy wants. The fishmonger. Here, you're that bearer who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? 
curse my luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Now, I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. Well, it's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. Sure, it doesn't seem that hard. Anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Claimed it? All right, eaten it, but, but, but only might have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry. There, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say. The ladders, right over there. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's a easy thousand gil. Oh, wow. I didn't even take the ladder. I just jumped right off. Could do that again? No. Must have bugged it with the camera angle somehow. Alright, let's see uh, where this crystal might have landed. Inside a bog crab. Alright, let's go. You run away from me, buddy. I thought he'd run away from me. I mean, at least it was an easy quest. Well, any luck? Yours, I presume. The foul crystal. You found it! Oh, thank you! At least it still works. Any longer out in the sun and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. There was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. He even threw in some crafting mats. How nice of him. Alrighty, well that about does it for here around town. Uh, our next one is going to be on the way, so let's go ahead and uh, head on north. I hear the levies at you. There's our little carpenter friend who fixed the bridge. Thank you very much. Martha said the blight had spread even further south, pushing yet more monsters down with it. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Then we shall have to keep our wits about us. There's some right here, actually. <laughs>
All right, so we can do a little bit exploring around the uh, green sheaves here, but our next uh, point of interest is going to be the little quest giver along the way. All right, so I may have cleared this entire area out and gone over everything before I moved on to the next little spot here, but you know, you can do what you want. Over here. Excuse me. I'll use that blade of yours. You're First not getting it. I branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Wait. That's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You in the Marfers, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you then. Not while there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Laid out bait, think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But we didn't expect the pack to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Well, we'd hope empty bellies might make them easy prey. We've made them mean instead. Martha's no fool, so she must see something in you. Do us a favor and get rid of them, will you? Sure. Anyways, I suppose those wolves pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'd wager the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you've seen to every last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if he's safe to come across. All right, off you go then. Sure, because we always know that main characters in role-playing games are always bloodthirsty bastards, ready to kill anything at the drop of a dime should anybody ask them to. So, yes. Let's murder. I think that was a fairy. I attacked at the same time he did. How to find this Bryce? How to move the road safe? That's it. There wasn't too many of them. Oh, there's a whole area over there you can explore if you want to. Or we can just keep on going across the bridge and let them know that everything's fine. Well, how long I've been there. You, Bryce? What's it to you, Bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. You'd have me believe a single Bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick! You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, Bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks, Dream Master. I mean, we got a thousand gil out of it. Some crafting mats that, you know, sure, that's about par. And we got to meet another bigot, so yeah. We're, we're doing good. Look, the windmills. That must be Eastpool. Yeah, we just gotta get up there now. Unfortunately, there's some uh, overgrowth here that needs trimmed. Get him, boy. Sick of trouble. There, boy. I guess you don't have to kill the antelope. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. 
but like we said, you know, bloodthirsty murderers. And you get some crafting mats out of it, so. It's worth your while, I guess. I remember coming here with Lord Murdoch when I was young. Rosaria seemed a very different place back then. Clive Rossfield. It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill, too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> It's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. <gasps> if you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy. Survived and. And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. <laughs> Do you think you will stay here? in Eastpool. Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. I... I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child. You look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm? Oh, 
Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. If it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. <laughs> when I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. on the balcony when we looked up at the moon I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered you came back to me the heavens must have a plan for us We should get some rest. Right. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more installments, which you can see in the playlist linked here on the left along with some of the additional content that I do on this channel. Uh, thank you for your support and I'll see you in the next video.